Okay, this reading is for my Virgos out there, or rising sign Virgo, or anybody who has a lot of Virgo in their chart. And everything I set up on my table has meaning to your reading, it's set up intuitively. And what I got for you is something to do with plants and green. But also, this is my favorite painting. I picked it as your drag drop because when I look at this, this reminds me of the phoenix rising out of chaos. And also when I made this painting, it was about celebration and lights, you know, lights that I see when I'm meditating. So again, we got the theme of green here, a kind of a purity, and I felt as if your spirit animal, your spirit guide this year is going to be Blue Jay. So keep that in mind every time you see a Blue Jay. What are you thinking about? What's most on your mind? What were you doing over that suddenly the Blue, eye, the blue Jay caught your attention? And then we got the beautiful rainbow aura crystal for you. Okay, so I didn't look at these cards yet. So let's see. And before we start, this is a year ahead reading. Come back to it any time throughout the year. The messages are for the next 12 months. This energy is for the next 12 months. And most likely in June, I'll do more, I'll do another update on this. But in June, the energy of this reading will be the strongest in your life because that's the midpoint. And it gets stronger as we go through the year. Um, keep in mind, some of these events might not even happen till December of 2019. Um, and you can get your own personalized year hidden reading on my channel. They're on sale right now. Um, just hit, it's on my website, but the website is advertised on my channel. Um, and if you're in America, the, with the exchange rate, the it's really a large discount on, on the readings because I'm here in Canada. If you pay in U.S. funds, you really get a really cheap price. Okay, so please like, comment, subscribe. If there's anybody that you want me to do a reading on, let me know. Like somebody famous or some situation. I was thinking about doing an R. Kelly video. You, if you look on my channel, you see I've done a couple on Wendy Williams and so far everything has been accurate. Same with the Obama. Uh, not on Obama. Who's your president down there? And done a couple different readings on different things that came is very accurate. So and hit the bell too because I'm over the next year I'm going to try to do either daily readings or weekly readings. And let's see. So for Virgo, is that who yet? Yeah, Virgo. Oh, there are September people, I believe. The end of August, September. Opening message from your guides. And I have not looked at these yet. Oh, this is a beautiful card. I love this. And look, we got all the greenery already. I just felt a lot of greenery. And there was another uh, reading that I did here that, wow, it came out everything green as well. And to me, green is such a healing color. It's about abundance. It's about the heart chakra. It's about healing. It's about prosperity and just earthly activities, growth in your life. And I love this little girl in the woods with her very mysterious. If you have ever seen one of these lizards in your life, you know how magical and mysterious they are because you you get to see so few of them in your life if you in most places in the world but not everywhere i mean if you're in florida and parts of india and places like that they're running around everywhere but in my country when you see one you know it's a sign um so your opening message is new beginnings in a big way and this often has to do with creative ideas, career, but it's telling you that there is a really big path opening for you this year. And as we start, so put in mind, get in mind what you most want. 
I mean, I know we're already 19 days into January, but a lot of people are said they felt, you know, things started off a little slow for them. So it's not too late now to set your intentions because this card is a very fiery card. He goes well with the phoenix here, rising from the ashes and the, the, the bird theme that you have going on here. So I love her. So it tells me if you're planning a business, a new move, anything that is a new beginning, new beginnings coming for you in 2019, and go for any plans that you have and set your intentions, please. Okay, so the next card we have is the Four of Swords. Isn't this deck interesting? It took me a little while to warm up to it. How do you to achieve your goals and dreams this year? And it tells you to daydream about it. By daydreaming and fantasizing about you, what you want this year, Virgo, it'll cause it to manifest in your life. I love it that, look at the, the theme here of the frog and this, the rep, reptile family, or the, I don't know what they, they called, you know, and all these creatures that we don't really get to see very much from the underworld or the sea world or from a hidden world. So that's very interesting. But this card is mostly telling you get rest, but daydream. Uh, recuperate, but daydream and fantasize, and it will help you greatly to manifest what you want. Using your imagination to manifest, to dream about things, because they will happen, Virgo, in 2019. Um, more actions for you to take as you go throughout this year. And I'd love to see this cup in the reading, this card in the reading. The Nine of Cups is a very exciting card. It, to me, when I see this in a reading, it says yes. It overrides any negativity that a reading has and says yes to whatever your plans and goals are in this year. It's a wish card. What, it, what you wish for or what you have been wishing for is going to manifest, especially when you see this line up together, okay? So it is very exciting reading so far. Yes. So if you have a question in mind, it's a yes for you. Okay, so what's departing from your life? Oh, I am so glad to see that. And that's what I mean, why I felt the phoenix rising from the ashes, okay, is the, this is the devil card, and it was not a good year for you last year. If you had addictions, if you had extreme negativity, you had awful people around you, it represents just, yuck, a very strong energy of... Uh, Maybe people just picking on you and being mean and just a tough, tough, tough year. But the good news, that's departing from your life now. And you are the Phoenix Rising, okay, for sure. Okay, let's see. Where are we at? This one. Let me just move them all up here. Okay, so this is the card that's central to your life, and I love it, okay? I love it that we go from a really strong card of addictions, and you're, you're just basically dead and kept hostage by some really awful situation, whereas now you're bursting forth from it. And this is, what card is that? 19, what is that, the moon? Is 19 the sun? I'm not sure, but I'm just going to read it according to what I sense about this image. And she's the mother of all mothers, first of all. She's the queen bee, and she provides nourishment for, for a, a whole group, you know, a big group who relies on her for everything. She is their queen, and they do everything for her. I believe this is the sun card. So... Really, Virgo, already this reading is extremely outstanding for you. There is nothing negative in your life in 2019. You are 
beyond whatever negativity happened to you in 2018, it's gone and you are new beginnings, fresh starts, and what you wish for is going to manifest. But when you got this sun card here, it's another wish card. So you got big wishes coming forward for you. Uh, a lot manifesting of what you really desired in life. And honey is so healing and so nutritious and just provided by nature. So just get out there in the sun and be the queen that you are. Okay, no. And even seeing this, it could be telling you also, some people don't know that real honey, raw honey, not all honey, it has to be raw, and sometimes the labeling is a little tricky. You cannot usually find it in grocery stores, but raw honey is extremely healing, especially if you have allergies, but it's known to be healing for many, many different things. So... That's just an added note for you. But this is central to your life. You might be going to a warm location, and, but you're just the queen. The queen of your world. And, you know, you got all your little bees all buzzing around you. You're the mother and they're helping you with everything. Future opportunities and energies. And this card... The 20 has shown up in three readings in a row of all my year ahead. So, and I mean, if I look back, it might be in more. And she's blooming out of the rose there. So there's opportunity, a very large amount of opportunity to move away and heal from past Okay, and this is like a rebirth. And like I say, it really is the energy of our times right now. Um, instant karma, living what you taught, being having to face your maker. And it's like karma or it's the calling. It's a calling of a higher power calling you to to be reborn. It's. It, on traditional tarot, you'll often see people coming out of the coffin and there's Angel Gabriel above them and she's blowing the horn, awaking them from the dead, but they must face their maker. And it's a resurrection, so much like this phoenix. So again, that theme continues for you, Virgo, in 2019. And I love you see, these cards are a progression. When I see numbers in sequence, it means you will be progressing rapidly in this year. And it's all to do with whatever decisions that you made to get this craziness out of your life. Perhaps you quit smoking, perhaps you quit drinking or using drugs or sexual addiction, whatever it might have been, a bad partner, you are now moving on and you're blooming from that rose okay so there's a calling for you this year okay now let's see what we have here next now we have probably the first card that shows any kind of negativity in this but the value of this card is it shows you what your obstacles will be this year so you got a bit of a dragon there. He's not a very nice guy. You're stuck on top of the mountain and there's apples coming out from under her dress. That's kind of funny. So this really to me is maybe some unnecessary uh, struggles. But to me when I see it as a five, it's very unnecessary. It's, it's energy that you do not need to get yourself involved in and that you should step out of it as quickly as you can. Don't get involved. There's no need for you to get involved, okay? So she's kind of feeding him the apples, I guess, to kind of keep him at bay. I guess that's what the whole thing is. But you don't need to feed anybody anything. You don't need to give any of your energy to this kind of same devil-like creature that wants to drain your energy. Just don't get yourself involved in, in that kind of anybody who wants to pull you into their stupid,
stupidity and their negativity in life. Okay, so we'll move on from here. Look, five, five. So when you see the number five fives in a row, it means change. It means change what you're doing and change is coming in life, okay? And so pay attention throughout this year, Virgos, for when you see that five, five, what I always say, when a number combination comes to you, it's responding to <coughs> and answering, excuse me, what you are most thinking about in life at that time. Um, so the five fives tell you big change is coming. She's on the elephant, which always reminds me of Ganesh, you know, the obstacle remover. He, she got help here. This help is bringing her on to better things. So you got your Ten of Cups here, which again, you had the Nine of Cups and Ten of Cups. There's so much indication of progression for you. Um, succeeding in steps, going up levels, if that makes any sense to you. Uh, just progression as you go through 2019. Here's an example of what I mean by progression. Say you're working out and you start 2019, you join the gym and you're 200 pounds. Well, by June, you'll be 180. And if you keep on with it, you're going to progress to 160 and your health is going to be better. So it's continuous progression throughout this year. And wishes coming through, not just one. But some of your biggest wishes in life are coming true. It's all because of you got rid of this thing out of your life. You dealt with it. So your parting message, okay, you open with the one and you end with the one. You can see cute, okay? So, and the ten boils down to a one. Okay, what else we got in here that boils down to a one? What's this, a ten, eleven... Does that pull down 19? Yep, that pulls down to a 1. So you got all these new beginnings, fresh starts, fresh opportunities, okay? And she's the sword. So in communication, work, uh, being able to protect yourself, being able to protect others, writing, channeling, it, it's mental capabilities, um, so new beginnings everywhere in your life. And if you have contracts to sign, uh, writing to do, a, a book idea, creative ideas, and you have everything it takes this year. I love it. What an amazing reading you got, um, Virgo. Okay, so I have one last card for you. And with this card, I ask the most important message that you need to hear for your life. That Virgo, if you listen to this, will always continuously lead you to your best life in 2019. And what do we hear? Oh my goodness. So more of the green, more of what I felt. The gentle gardener, it's about tending to your life gently. You see the little e the eggs with the little fairies coming out of it? Um, and the fairies protecting it. So it's telling you that look at yourself and look at your life as those little eggs. And you want those eggs to hatch. And, you know, it's kind of the same theme here because she's got all the babies in there too. So it's... and. She has the worker bees. This card has the fairies to help. So you got a lot of uh, protection around you. Uh, guides. The, the croon energy, which is a lot to do with this year's energy. Um, the gentle gardener tells you to gently nurture your goals gently nurture yourself allow things in this year to be a progression okay allow things to unfold as they will okay gently because those eggs need to be looked after gently they need to protect it gently those eggs are your wishes and your desires your dreams for you this year but they're also you so 
love those eggs, you know? So your wishes can burst forth. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six eggs there. Six wishes, six babies, six new beginnings bursting forth. Okay, Virgo, that was kind of a very excited, exciting and dynamic reading. You didn't have any negative energy. It's all passing. It's a very powerful year for you. You did the right thing in 2018. If somebody did something, they're wondering, did I do the right thing? Yes, you did the right thing. 2019 will be amazing for you, but allow it to unfold and listen to the messages within this reading. If you would like your own personalized reading, please go to my site. Once again, it's on sale for now and much cheaper with the conversion because I'm in Canada, if, you, if you're booking from America. Um, and my paintings are all on sale too. So like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell and leave me a comment on what you thought about this reading, if it resonates with you. And if there's anybody that is in the public or any situation going on in the world that you would like me to do a reading on, please post it below. Thank you so much.